In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus ammonium phosphate. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I've already balanced it. So that is done. Next, we're going to write the state for each substance. We know that sodium hydroxide is a strong base, so it's going to be aqueous. That means it'll dissolve and dissociate into its ions. When we have compounds with the ammonium ion, this NH4, they will also be aqueous, dissolve, dissociate into their ions. Another sodium compound here, water, that's a liquid. And then for the ammonia, that could be dissolved in the water, aqueous. Probably we're going to say that it's going to be a gas though here. So let's just go with gas. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. When we do that, that'll look like this. So we split everything up except for water. That's a liquid. We don't split those apart in net ionic equations. And then we don't split gases apart. And even if this was aqueous, NH3, that's a weak base, so it's not going to dissociate much. So we wouldn't split it apart even if it was aqueous here. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants on the top, we have these three sodium ions. And on the bottom, spectator ions, we cross them out. In the reactants, we have the phosphate ion. We have it again in the products. Cross that out, it's a spectator ion. What's left is the net ionic equation for NaOH plus NH43PO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation. Often you'll see the positive ion put first. Doesn't really matter, just looks a little nicer, I guess. If we look at charge, we have three times one plus, that's three plus, three times one minus, that's three minus. So on this side, we have a net charge of zero. Over here, everything's neutral, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. And since we have a coefficient of three in front of each one of these, we could reduce this down to one, and we don't write the one. That'll leave us with this. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus NH43PO4. Thanks for watching.